The two unmarried work from home heroes, Lori and Adam, make a pilgrimage to the Tam Tams hoping for a spiritual breakthrough and to pick up some strays. Montreal's legendary Tam Tams, a patchouli infused drumming ritual that has occupied Mount Royal every Sunday since the 60s. Magical space cakes, marijuana, and curious fauna abound. Oh, look, a ferret. Wow. Is that your pet? However, the rhythms are about to conjure up more than they bargained for. Seeking to fill the void of freelance life, they quickly turn on each other, and a rivalry for mates ensues amongst the throngs. On sait que t'es roi avec ton collier. Hey, il essaie. Ouais. Ah, alors, toi, t'es le roi du tout le tam-tam? Oui, c'est moi, moi que j'ai commencé au total le rythme. C'est moi qui ai commencé au total. Oh. They believe they may have found a king. They naturally seek to ascend the throne. Is he the key to restoring their magical mojo? Et toi, tu peux, pourrais être la reine. <laughs> ben oui, j'aimerais aime, être la reine du ah, tam Ah oui, t'as marré ça? Ben oui. Comme tu as I am the Khaleesi. To Laurie's dismay, Adam has seized the king's affections and has edged Laurie out. The people have bequeathed Adam with a new honor, Mount Royal's Tam Tam Gatriarch, and his life is briefly filled with newfound meaning. Laurie uses the distraction to her advantage, inviting the king to their party. She will not be outdone in this Game of Thrones. They both vie for control of the king, believing him to be some kind of fifth element that will release them from singles purgatory. Neither of them have given much thought to the fact that perhaps they may be slightly deluded. Adam and Lori have invited the king of the Tam Tams to Adam's birthday party, but his presence may not be enough for both of them. They greedily double their efforts to find eligible bachelors to invite. Because what do you do when a psychic tells you you will be single forever? Tinder like a mofo. Is he peeing in the water? No, he's fishing. Totally gross. Like, he no, looks a he bit looks like, like he has some kind of weird thing going on with he his looks mouth like and you his, with facial hair and his nose. Do you like his top hat? That's the top hat of a serial killer. Like a strange He's got spot. A bit of a potato head. Yeah. <laughs> potato, 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 potato. Ooh. Hello, Hans. Oh look, that guy is eating like a, a little tasty piece of pork. Oh, he likes tofu. Okay, good. The psychic's predictions suddenly seem inescapable, and a fog descends on our two heroes. She just cancel it? But we're never gonna find dates if you cancel the party. It doesn't matter whether there's a party or not. It's not gonna happen for another two or three years, Laurie. We should just accept fate. Seriously, I'm like over it. the psychic said we're not gonna find anyone for three why years. Why are we like, even why, trying? Why are we doing anything? <laughs> 